video, we will transport you to the Mesozoic period, 252 to 66 million years ago. To view the life of dinosaurs, some dinosaurs with feathers, the largest dinosaurs with the largest neck, some crow-sized dinosaur raptors, their aquatic life, evolution, and demise. Watch the Mesozoic ruler story through to the very end. In the hushed shadows of Earth's infancy, a symphony of evolution began. Enter the Mesozoic era, an age painted in hues of dinosaurian majesty, where the thunderous roars and intricate dances of colossal reptiles dominated the ancient landscapes. Setting the stage for the dawn of the dinosaurs. This cinematic journey through time unveils the emergence of Earth's first rulers, the dinosaurs, as they navigate the unexplored landscapes of the Triassic. Join us as we witness the unfolding epic, from the majestic dawn of the Jurassic to the turbulent crescendo of the Cretaceous, in a tale where colossal beings reign and the world transforms in the glow of a prehistoric sunrise. Dinosaurs evolved over millions of years, adapting to changing climatic conditions and developing unique characteristics ranging from strong senses to powerful limbs, allowing them to thrive in a variety of environments. Evolutionary stresses, including resource competition and climatic changes, were crucial in forming the amazing diversity of these extinct giants. According to popular belief, some dinosaurs had feathers. Most dinosaurs were scaly animals. There is evidence from fossils, mostly from China, that some theropod dinosaur species, such as the Velociraptor, had feathers. The Brachiosaurus, one of the largest dinosaurs, had an exceptionally long neck, which it used to reach vegetation high in trees. Its front legs were longer than its hind legs, giving it a distinctive posture. Not all dinosaurs were enormous. Some were quite small, like the Microraptor, which was about the size of a crow. It had feathers and is believed to have been capable of gliding or even powered flight. One prominent example of a dinosaur that evolved to an aquatic or semi-aquatic lifestyle is the ichthyosaur. Throughout the Triassic, Jurassic, and Cretaceous epochs of the Mesozoic era, marine reptiles known as ichthyosaurs were prevalent. The bodies of ichthyosaurs were streamlined and resembled those of contemporary dolphins. Their limbs were changed to resemble paddles, which helped them adapt to life in the water. They were reptiles, not dinosaurs, in contrast to actual dinosaurs. Rather than releasing eggs onto the ground, ichthyosaurs gave birth to live young. The discovery of embryos inside the bodies of mature ichthyosaurs through fossil evidence points to a viviparous reproductive system. These aquatic reptiles were carnivores that consumed fish and other aquatic life. Their teeth structure and the contents of their fossilized stomachs show that they had evolved to be able to capture and consume animals in the water. Fire-breathing dinosaurs, like the mythological dragons represented in folklore and fiction, did not exist in fact. The notion of dinosaurs that were capable of exhaling fire is solely the work of imagination and creative storytelling. Unlike many literary depictions, the physical and biological procedures needed for a creature to manufacture and expel fire are not supported by modern understanding or the fossil record. Although they lived millions of years ago, dinosaurs were a very diversified group of reptiles. Nevertheless, one trait they did not have was the ability to exhale fire.
Japanese science fiction has been credited for creating Godzilla, an enigmatic huge monster that is not a dinosaur. Most depictions of Godzilla show him as a gigantic, extinct sea monster that is awakened and mutated by nuclear radiation. Godzilla has various attributes that separate it from actual dinosaurs, such as its atomic breath, regeneration powers, and prominent dorsal plates down its back, even though it was inspired by the features of dinosaurs. The iconic long-necked dinosaurs, like the Brachiosaurus and Apatosaurus, were on the larger end of the scale. These giants could reach lengths of 70 to 90 feet and weighed between 30,000 to 80,000 pounds. Resembling a feathery raven, the Microraptor was a small, bird-like dinosaur with iridescent plumage. Its diminutive size and bird-like characteristics might evoke a sense of charm. With its distinctive crest and duckbill, Parasaurolophus had a certain quirky charm. The elongated crest, which could have produced sounds, adds a unique and intriguing aspect to its appearance. Examining the diversity of these extinct animals can reveal some unexpected qualities that might really be considered attractive and charming in their own prehistoric way. Despite the fact that the popular picture of dinosaurs frequently stresses their powerful and occasionally threatening appearances. Temperature fluctuations, combined with the impact's aftermath and volcanic activity, created a climatic symphony that the dinosaurs were unprepared for. The planet changed into an unwelcoming stage, forcing the formerly powerful players to confront their own mortality. But that's not where the narrative ends. Following the dinosaur drama, a group of mistreated mammals materialized out of the shadows. In the post-apocalyptic story, these tough animals, often cast in supporting roles, took center stage and signaled the beginning of the Cenozoic era. If you enjoy this unique story of Mesozoic rulers, please subscribe to our channel, click the like button, and share your thoughts about these gigantic creatures.